Hello again, everyone. We are gaming by Gaslight. Welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. We're we're coming in at like an endish point in this run because it's been a while since we've played Enter the Gungeon, and I've been doing a bit of off-camera play in preparation for the Advanced Gungeons and Dragons update whenever that ends up coming up. And one of the big like things that we're still missing is the we haven't beat the sixth chamber yet, so with that in mind, I, I'm hopeful to do that today. I mean, we've we've got like a really powerful build here. Uh, not shown is the fact that I got like cigarettes right at the beginning and was able to boost my coolness, thus resulting in more chests or something. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Anyway, yeah, so down we go to bullet hell, and I mean, it's been a strong run so far. So with any luck, I mean, I we even almost got basically the equivalent of uh, Lead God again, though, you know, we already unlocked that during that one boss rush uh, run we did a while back. And if it wasn't for Amaconda, I blame Amaconda for all my, all of my uh, flaws and general loss of stuff. Also, we got the Payday Gang here, plus Sir Junkin', so it's been a ridiculously good run as far as power and stuff is concerned, especially getting that magic sweep really early on as well. That also helps. I mean, I could kind of sit back and just let the minions do all the work, couldn't I? I mean, the only thing I really ought to do, I think, to guarantee anything resembling success and safety would be, um, like, I should just make sure that I... Oh, God, I didn't even see that there was something there. Well, that's really telling of how this one's gonna go, isn't it? Anyway, as memory serves, there's like no shops, there's no rewards or anything like for exploring all of bullet hell. So, it is in our best interest, I must assume. Is that a popcorn? It is a popcorn, what the heck is popcorn doing here? Oop. Anyway, yeah, so. We also have this orange that I'm holding on to, because if memory serves, I think it... I don't know if it heals us all the way to full health, but it does heal heal us, and I figure against the Lich, that might be a good, a good thing to have. You know, just to be safe. You never know. Things could go wrong in a heartbeat, and we might, we might want a little something-something to keep us safe as it were. I've got to be honest, this has been a pretty, pretty tame bullet hell so far, but then again, I guess uh, maybe the game itself recognizes how much I want this, and it's like, ah, what the heck, we'll give Gaming by Gaslight a free pass this one time. Don't really know what I was attempting to do there, to be honest with you. Oh. I mean, again, just also the reason I don't have junk in it full maximum maximuminess is so that should I die oh dear should I die from you know some horrible horrible cruel twist of fate I'll be set kind of hoping this is a gun it is not a gun and in fact as a result that makes it kind of useless to me because that's an active item and I don't really need an active item right now so I'm not gonna take it and all right I mean so far life has life has been pretty good so far I mean I can't I can't complain too much I mean I could but what does that do also it occurs to me I took like a really short look at our our items so maybe I should like, pause again to take a quick look at that. Let, let's actually look at everything we've got. Just, uh, I mean, we got flak bullets from a store. That was good. Uh, we got an ammo belt. We got unity, which means that our massive collection of guns is paying off. We got more blank damage, which I assume affects Junkin as well. We also have faster bullets. We have all but the last master round because I screwed up on Amaconda, as I often do. But, uh, the rest of this run, really, really good work there, Gaslight. Getting hit like that. Anyway, I mean, we, we've got more health. 
Actually, the only I think the only thing I could ask for at this point would be if the game would be ever so kind as to give me more blanks. Because I I have no confidence at all that I'm gonna be able to, to dodge Shaq the Lich. I mean he's got three phases of of hell. And I question I mean, w with uh, Junkin blanking us every now and then, I mean, I guess we're probably better off than we could be. Oh, sweet baby Jesus, no. No, not my money. I mean, the money is useless, but it makes me feel good about myself to have it, so. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, let's kind of pay attention to what we're doing. That would be a smart idea, wouldn't it? That way we don't die, and if we don't die, then we end up being happy. I mean, we've also got, like, the commando, so we have, like, explosive weapons, which kind of act like blanks in their own right. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and just heal myself now, I think. Stupid, resourceful rat. I hate him so much. I really do. I loathe and despise him and everything he represents. No, he's not, he's not the common working class man. He's not, he is not, he doesn't know what it's like to fight out in the streets just to survive another day in the gungeon. He just leeches off of other people's hard work. Like a leech. Or as Andrew Ryan might say, a parasite. Not that I'm a subscriber to the Andrew Ryan school of, uh, of philosophy, mind you, but, you know. Not nice to leech off other people's hard work. Oh dear. Okay, good. I did somehow manage not to get hit. Not sure how I managed that, but I did, so. Leaves me feeling pretty good about myself. Honestly, I have to assume that our coolness factor is at least playing like a 95% role in why we have not died yet. And also why we're so good looking, probably. With our sweet little business suit and our business mask, etc., etc. I feel bad for these like wax uh, bulletkin here. I mean, that's got to be pretty hellish. You know, being turned into a human candle, or I guess a bulletkin candle in this case. I've got to be honest, the damage that Sir Junkin's blanks alone are doing is pretty. Pretty impressive, I must say. Yes, get nice and swole with your juicy juices. Whoa. Oh, come on, Gaslight, don't do that. Come on, pick up the money. I mean, not that it matters, because, again, there's there's no shops anymore. I mean, if I'm... If I'm taking this bad, unnecessary damage now, then how... How can I hope to survive the end of days, huh? I mean, if only I could fight the Lich here in this room, where I could hide in the safety of, well, this room. With its nice little wall there and cover so that I don't have to get shot. Actually, that'd be kind of a cool, uh... Wow, do you see that? Like, Junkin just, like, one shot the room. Oh, dear. That was pretty... I have, I have no words. Words do not describe my my feelings of self-loathing for that one. Yo, dog, calm down. It's okay, Mr. Angry Face Mask thing. I'm actually getting a little low on ammo here, which is bothering me just a slight bit. Are we done yet? We are not done yet. In fact, there is a whole other wave of hell to go. Oh, sweet baby Jesus, no. And yet, we survived, survived it so far. I mean, we still have a nice supply of bullet casings. Definitely, totally worth it. Well played. I mean... No, there's not, there's no chests down here, are there? I don't think so. No chests, which means no... No chance at additional power, which means... Oh, heck. Oh, good God, no. Man, that stuff just scares the bejeebas out of me every time. 
Now, do I want to do I want to risk fighting more things in an attempt to get full health? You know what? One one sliver probably shouldn't make the difference, right? Probably. All right, gunslinger. It's just you and me, baby. I mean, obviously we have to watch his opening cutscene just because it's so cool. Gungeon Master Lich. All right, baby. I actually forget. It's been a while since I've been down here. I actually forget his. Uh, I forget his attack pattern. Okay, S Swirly McSwirlies. Those are pretty easy to to understand. Like I can comprehend that. I and mean, he's already at. He's already at half health, and we haven't taken any damage yet. Oh god, he's spawning like little minions, which kind of look like tombstones. Which I guess you know. To no one's surprise! Oh dear. Oh no! He hit me, now I've lost all my money. Wait, 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 I've got a tie I've got time to pick it up. Okay, wait for it. Wait for it. Alright, here we go. I mean, plus don't forget, I've still got we've still got our juicy orange. So we have a chance, is what I'm saying. Man, you have not aged well. Not to mention that crown of bullets. Nice, uh... Oh god, what is this? You know what, it's actually not that bad. Whoop. Yeah, you know what, look at this, he's already halfway dead. I should, ow. Don't, don't keep doing that. Look at this. I mean, Junkin is the real MVP here. There's no way I'd have survived this without Junkin. Like, everyone give a round of applause to Junkin. And also our little buddies over here. Who are... I'm gonna call them Gonzo and Rizzo, because I can. Good old Muppets. Good old Muppets. Anyway, alright, big boy. Here we go. Now, as I recall, this is where the fun really begins. Oh, that's a cool move you got there. Okay. That's that's exciting stuff, man. Whoa, dog. Oh god. Did I where am I? Oh, I, I I rolled off the edge. That was not good, as one might imagine. Am I even gonna need to use my delicious orange? Oh, no, I'm not. Yeah, that's how big a badass I am. Okay. Final shot. You know what? I don't actually have the bullet that can kill the past. Oh, yeah. Riddle of Lead unlocked. And also, we're the Gungeon Master. And we're a, a skeleton. Oh, right, right. I remember reading about that. Apparently, that's a thing that happens. Also, is that the original bullet right there? Like, the bullet that originally formed the Gungeon? Nice little bit of uh, lore there. Now, how do I speed this up? Yeah, there we go. I mean, we 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 do want to give the the guys their credit, and also we've got the awesome music and stuff. But you know, we we have places to be, no doubt. So we'll uh, <laughs> we'll cut that a little bit short. But yeah, all right. Okay, we've finally done it. We've like beat everything. We just need to unlock the last secret character, and then beat his past. And then we're done, as far as that's going. Oh, no, 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 that's not true. We, ha we haven't unlocked everything. We still have Freifel's quests to finish. We have to unlock everything in the shops. I mean, we've still got plenty of stuff. But I figure, you know, we should be ready in time for A, G, and G. A, G, and D. That's what I meant to say. All right, lads. All right, there goes the bullet. Ooh. Oh, 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 that's... that. We're seeing it, like, hit... Oh. Okay, I think that was us, and that was like the original bullet hitting the, the dungeon, or what would become the dungeon. Cool, sweet. Oh, yeah, also, seeing as it just occurred to me, we're also, like, I still have, like, the big list of, like, mod the dungeon scenarios and whatnot that have been suggested to me, so I figure we're probably gonna focus a more on doing those in the lead-up to AG and G and D coming out. And, yeah, maybe I should put that in its own playlist. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But in the meanwhile, that is it for this episode. So until the next time... Ooh, Dungeon Blueprint. Until the next time, that is all, folks. So as always, which I think I've said like two or three times now, thank you all for watching. 
I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking and I will see all you in the next video.